a family member were terminally ill with less than six months to live, would you want to con them to continue to suffer or would you want them to have the choice to die with dignity at the hands of a physician? The U.S. government should legalize the Dying with Dignity Act in all of the states. Right now, there are only five states that this is a legal thing. Today, I'm gonna to cover the reasons I think people should have a chance to die with dignity. The right to die with dignity should be a matter of personal choice, not the government's. We are able to choose all kinds of things in life, from who we marry, what jobs we choose to be in, the rights to have abortions, and everything else. So why is it that when it comes to the end of one's life, we don't have that choice? I think when it comes to the end of your life, whether you have a terminal illness or whether you're an elderly person, you should have the choice of what happens to you. Ending the dying process with withdrawing the life support for terminally ill patients is a routine practice in which patients may not be consulted if they are unconscious. Aid in dying allows patients to avoid life support that would extend their dying process, but not to their quality of life. Patients should not be limited to having to live and continue treatment because a higher power is the only morally correct deciding power on when the life is terminated. Oregon's Death with Dignity Act has very tight regulations and would be great to implement in every state. The Medical Dictionary defines death with dignity as death that is allowed to occur in accordance with the wishes of the patient. In assisted suicide, someone makes the means of death available, but does not act as a direct agent in death. This is often confused with euthanasia. Euthanasia is defined by the Council on Ethical and Judicial Affairs as when a physician performs the immediate life-ending action, often by administrating a lethal injection. During assisted suicide, a physician prescribes a prescription of information about the lethal dose of the prescription. The Death with Dignity Act states that in order to participate, a patient must be 18 years or older and a resident of Oregon. The patient must be capable of making and communicating health care decisions for themselves and diagnosed with a terminal illness that will lead to death within six months. Patients who meet this criteria are able to request a prescription of lethal medication in order to terminate their lives. According to Oregon's Death with Dignity Act website, the physician must be a doctor of medicine or doctor of osteopathy licensed to practice by the Board of Medical Examiners for the state of Oregon. There are plenty of benefits for legalizing the Death with Dignity Act across the United States. Many of you have heard of the Brittany Maynard case. It was about a year ago. She ended her life November 5th, one year ago. She was a resident of a state where it was not legal. She had to choose to pick up and move her family, move her right away with her doctors that she already had and everything else so she could die with dignity. She had terminal brain cancer. She was in a lot of pain. She couldn't do it where she lived, so she had to move. So these patients should not have to leave their family, their home, and their doctors just so they have the choice to die with dignity. She did that just to exercise her freedom of choice. The safeguards of the Death with Dignity Act ensures only the patient can make the request, and the patient must control the process from beginning to end. Unlike states without the Death with Dignity Act, the acts require phys physicians to discuss all end-of-life options with patients. Family members of the patients that chose to use the Death with Dignity Act reported that their family members' reasons of wanting to die were loss of independence, quality of life, the burden of others, healthcare expenses, just to name a few. According to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, by means of providing a prescription necessary, a doctor can also allow a terminally ill patient to end his or her life in a safe, effective, and painless way. Although it is a grisly thought, there is always a possibility that these patients could try to take their life in their own hands at home, and an attempted suicide could go wrong or cause more suffering. For patients that decide to, remain, to remove their life support systems, 
The suffocation process is excruciatingly, excruciatingly slow and painful. In America, we have the freedom of choice, so why shouldn't we have the freedom to choose when it comes down to deciding the quality of our life is done? There should not be a choice left in the hands of our government or anyone else. If you agree with me and would like to see the laws changed or just wish to find out more and support the Dying with Dignity Act, you can go to www.deathwithdignity.org.